your Friday morning, South Florida. Tracking showers on real-time Doppler, and it's been an impact mainly for Broward because the showers over Broward have been heavier. Uh, this one is a uh, light to moderate rainfall, but widespread between Hollywood, Dania Beach, and Port Everglades. Uh, further up north, Lauderdale Lakes, Larder Hill, Tamarack, dealing with some light showers passing through the area. West Miami and South Miami also with a shower up into Hialeah, Doral. But notice how small these showers are. There's one over Cutler Bay, so you'll probably drive through it and it'll last like five minutes. Plus, they're moving quickly along that southeast wind up again at 22 miles per hour in Pompano Beach. Now, those are sustained winds. This right here are the wind gusts, gusting at 28 in Pompano Beach, 22 down in the Keys and in Homestead. Now, temperatures are starting off warm in the mid to upper 70s, uh, 75 degrees in Pembroke Pines, as well as Opalaka, 76 in West Kendall, and even warmer down through the Keys, almost 80 degrees at this hour in Marathon. Windy conditions is actually due to a strong high over the Atlantic Ocean. It's east of us. Now notice a cold front moving through the eastern U.S. Well, that cold front's not coming our way. We'll continue with this pattern. Uh, windy conditions throughout today. Not so windy tomorrow, but the flow will continue out of the southeast. A few showers uh, this morning, drier this afternoon, then it picks up again tonight. Highs today, 81 degrees. Let's talk about that beach forecast. Dangerous rip currents continue uh, and also small craft advisory remains in effect due to the strong winds. It'll get better though by tomorrow. Highs in the lower 80s as we close off the year. It's going to be nice and dry as we ring in 2019.